Hey everyone, it's Calvin, and welcome back to my rebuild of the Oakland Raiders with John Madden as the head coach. This week we take on the St. Louis Rams, who have a healthy Sam Bradford and Kenny Britt um, for Sam Bradford to throw to. Unfortunately, I don't think Kenny Britt is it really a franchise player. Nor do I really think Sam Bradford can be. I mean, he has the skill to be a franchise quarterback, but he doesn't have the durability. Um, it seems like every season, or at least for the past two seasons, Sam Bradford has um, done something to his knee that just totally ruins the season. He's out all season, and... It's just not something you can do as a franchise quarterback. Uh, you have to stay healthy. And I think overall it has um, hurt Sam Bradford's um, overall in Madden. Uh, for example, he throws this interception to Woodson, who runs it back for a quick TD. And, you know, I feel bad for doing this. But, I ha you know, it's not very often that I get to beat up on a team. And this was just one of those games where I got to do that. The St. Louis Rams just didn't have an answer for my offense. So, I ha oh, Boyd here throws an interception. Um, but I do believe he's quick enough to get the tackle. So, we're all good there. Um, this is direct... This is right after the interception. Looks like their first first down after the interception. And boom! Jumped the route. And off we go. Um, I kind of thought this was the way the game was going to go. Uh, I would screw up and then the defense, my defense would score. So, right after that, Boyd suddenly shakes off the tackle there. And Jeremy Macklin comes up with an impossible catch. Um, some Madden cheese right there. So, oh, I don't even know how he did that. That was double coverage, and Macklin just goes up over everybody. So, and then we get the touchdown right after it. Uh, the Rams managed to get me out of the pocket, but it didn't really matter. I had a wide open receiver to throw it to. I mean, look at my pass options here. Every receiver has an advantage over the cornerback that was lined up with him. And then I burn him again with Macklin. I, <laughs> it was just fun. You don't get very many of these games in Madden where, you know, you have that much of an advantage over some teams. A lot of teams have great cornerbacks, this team not being one of them. He goes, uh, there's just, they don't have a great defense. So this is what happens to them. And sorry if I ruin this for you, but. Oh, that was close. Uh, Boyd almost throws that interception. I really, you know, I thought I had time and space, but didn't work out that way for me. Um, pretty sure. Sure, I hit Macklin somewhere. Yep, I put him on a slant. I mean, this. Ooh, what was I thinking? That was awful. That was that should have been an interception. It's kind of funny that it wasn't. Um, I guess I keep the field goal. Wow, I didn't do that very many times throughout the game. I don't believe. Um, but that definitely should have been an interception. I think this is going to be the one time that they get one up on me. Um, I don't know. I guess you can't stop them all. I had to make a choice. If I had left one defense, one uh, receiver, I would have left the other one open. So, either way, I was screwed. I just picked the wrong one. Um, Ellington, yeah, I didn't quite make it. Oh, wow. I had to kick two field goals. This one's a little bit further away. But, I mean, Janikowski can kick. So, 
I get another one through the uprights. Um, I guess I recorded this a couple days ago. Uh, and I just haven't quite, I don't remember really what happened. Um, yeah. Uh, again, Macklin has green a green light, so yeah, there he goes. No one first down. No one caught him. He's been having awesome games lately. Uh, he's up to 175 yards, so that's one of his best games this year. Uh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Oh. All right, I didn't throw it to Macklin. I thought I was going to try to throw it to Macklin. Um, but Williams was wide open. I had these long throws open all game. Their receivers really didn't, well, their cornerbacks, I, my receivers, uh, just they burnt them. And it, it feels good to beat up on one of these bad teams because if you beat up on them, you know you're, you've, brought in enough talent that you can run with the good teams because good teams beat up on these sh crappy teams like St. Louis. <laughs> and yeah, Macklin gets another touchdown. Um, can't really see. Oh, who's hurt? Oh, one of my guys. Henderson, it looks like, number 50. I don't even remember putting that in. I don't think he's hurt for very long. I think it was just a few plays in the game. So I still have a strong metal linebacker. And that should have been an interception. That was just awful. Yeah, forearm bruise. Wow. That's just awful. But, um... Yeah, Sam Bradford's overall must be hurt by his lack of playing the past couple seasons. Oh, fumble! <laughs> oh, man. St. Louis just can't win to lose right now. Nothing's going right for him in this game. I mean, it's 41-7, to and... I, I literally just did a lot of this to pad my stats. I figured out very early on in the game that they weren't going to be able to run with me. So, I mean, you can't blame me for padding my stats a little bit. And Macklin gets another touchdown. I think that's his second of the game. It's 48-7. And boom! Uh, sad notice, Bradford's hurt. And um, Mac just passed. He ha now holds the record for sacks in the league. So that's pretty sweet. Um, if you don't know, I usually use Mac on blitzes. And I use the control him a lot. So... You know, he gets to the, the QB more often than not. And another touchdown pass by Boyd to Rivera. And that is pretty much the end of the game. Not a whole lot. I mean, 55-7, to seven, guys. I just annihilated the Rams. They couldn't keep up. It was fun to pad my stats a little bit. Something that I needed to do. And, you know, all in all, uh, I have to be happy with Boyd. Boyd is way overperforming. He's at, he threw 362 yards this game. And had four TDs. Only one interception, and we saw that it was very early on in the game. So that's good news. Ellington, 104 yards. He's not hurt. I don't know why the injury symbol is next to him. And I have a lot of these young players that I'm really excited about.
they only have a year in a couple years in and you know hey these players are going to develop and if they're doing this good now they're just going to keep getting better and Macklin over 200 yards and two TDs he's not he has five years experience so he was he's still on his rookie contract when I brought him in so he, my only concern about him is that I won't be able to sign him because he's gonna have need so much salary cap and I might not be able to do it um, I don't know what my salary cap looks like right now I haven't really looked at it um, but I think I'm pretty low but I've brought in so many people that are gonna need a lot of money um, and I plan on you know spending some money yet during the free agency so I don't know but Macklin's definitely gonna be my, one of my top priorities this uh, offseason that's coming relatively quick as this is week 13 uh, Greer got one touchdown and so did Woodson so hey all in all, good defensive day. Total 14, well, responsible for 14 points. And this is the end of my video, guys. I hope you liked it. Like, subscribe, and comment.